Copy or not copy? Would it fall apart after a few months of spinning? Oh, some bots are gonna be on fire after watching this video. Hello, you're on Penstock, channel about pen spinning, and today I'm gonna expose one major myth about pen mods. An important part of our beloved hobby, right? Pen mods. What we spin, what we make, what we... what... what all of our hobby revolves around. They affect your style, your skill, your pace and progress, they can look nice can look bad. In this and in several of my future videos I want to speak to you about them, about them and some mystifications and myths connected with them. What I'm going to say may sound controversial, maybe you have already heard some opposite opinions to the ones which I'm going to say, but again, my opinion is based on some knowledge and experience. Mine and other people with whom I have spoken a lot. I want to start with the one myth, not so common as the ones which are ahead, but still I hear that from people from time to time. It is about original parts and copies. First of all, let's make it clear once and for all. I have told that numerous times before and I hope I wouldn't need to repeat it again. Copies of spare parts are used in pen modding commonly. A lot of pen mods from penstock.net are made of non-original spare parts. Not all of them, but some. Yes, they are used and there is nothing that bad in copies. Sometimes you can feel the difference, many times you can't. But anyway, they keep you be able to get high-quality, well-made pen mods for lower price than you could possibly spend on one buying whole pens instead of spare parts. Again, not all, but a lot of spare parts are not originally out of actual pens. For example, Dr. Grip, Grip and Dr. Grip tip are copies. You could never tell which one is original tip and which is not by yourself, as they have similar characteristics and feel the same. Both grip and tip are good materials, high quality materials, used a lot in pen modding, but pair of Dr. Grip tips would cost you a little more than $5. At the same time, if you get two Dr. Grip shakers, to get tips from them it would cost you about $25, I guess, right now. Ok, from two shakers you would also have two grips, which also would cost you about $5 in pair if you buy them as spare parts. So anyway, you save more than 50% and get materials pretty similar to original ones. And you can always buy two shakers to make pen mods out of actual pens instead of spare parts. I try to keep both original and copy parts for pen modding. You can find for example original Crayola and copy of its body as well and choose by yourself what you want to make. But in fact, 99 times out of 100 you guys take copies. And that's understandable and I don't think there is something so wrong with that. I don't think it is a big deal as there are no such a huge difference between them. Main characteristics are the same. Of course, skilled pen spinners, those who take it more or less serious, may want to have original pen mods, and me too. You know, that's not the same to have co collection of original stuff and replicas. But from practical point of view, you don't need aesthetical feelings out of knowledge that you spin pen mods made out of only original spare parts. You need momentum, good weight, good length. And if you want to get this with decent quality, for reasonable price, go for copy. For God's sake, in all of my collection I have literally not a single pen mod made only out of original spare parts. Take this Dr. Katie, which I love but don't show much, even on spinnable.com where you can play with other spinners' tacons. Find out more about that in the description under this video. You are subscribed to this channel. Why the hell don't you earn new levels on Spinball? So this Dr. KT is almost 5 years old and it has seen a lot. Many times I dropped it on asphalt. But it still looks fine, spins and feels great. Though you know what? I think only tips in here are replicas. Other parts I think are original. The same goes to Dr. ACT, Firefly G3, Emboss PC2. Dr. Kirarich, you know, there are so many penmans which have mostly original parts in them. A lot of art color, play color, RSVP, G3 based mods, dozens of them are made mostly out of original parts. What I often hear for the last few months, what always makes me laugh, is some weirdos saying that mods made out of copies of spare parts fall apart. 
break or whatever else happens in their minds. That's bullshit and myth, of course. I don't know what's the purpose of such misinformation, but I can guess. I will leave my thoughts regarding this matter by myself, though. No, they wouldn't fall apart. If you don't destroy them by, by yourself, they would serve you for many years. Both copies and the original ones. Jigao Panamos, yeah, this one will fall apart pretty fast. By the way, I have made a re video review of one of these things. Take a look by clicking the card or link in the description. I have suffered while doing this video. If you want to have original mods, if you know why you want them, if you are skilled enough to appreciate having original pen mods, that's just awesome. You can also assemble them by yourself and get a lot of satisfaction out of this process and final result. But I hope pen spinning is going to grow further and soon we will have much more variations of good copies and other spare parts, such as, for example, bullet tips, arrow tips, dozens of different bodies, grips, maybe some kind of ready grip cuts, how about that? They will all differ by quality, price, thickness and uh, some other aspects, colors, of course, maybe maybe outserts. Huge variety in spare parts would lead to huge variety in ways of self-expression through creating beautiful pen mods, customizations. Each of new pen mod would bring something new to your experience, to your style, and would serve to pen spinning's development as well. If you like this video, subscribe to this channel and push the bell button to make sure you don't miss the next one. It is going to be about really bad pen mods, you're gonna like it. Yeah, if you do, don't forget to let me know about that and share this video. Let others know that copies good copies, I mean, are good for pen spinning. And if you disagree, feel free to argue in the comment section below. But without but hurt, okay? By without, I mean more. I'm Alex Sukhov. May this tell be with you. Bye.